Hey guys, it's been a while since we had a proper update of what's going on in the farm. Yeah, I do know that. I can feel it. So, come on. Today we are going to be moving around. It's quite early in the morning right here on the farm. And the guys are doing work. They've actually just finished feeding the birds. And now there's lots of egg collection going on. So, come on. Let's go collect some eggs, you know. Do some work around the farm and I'll show you exactly what's happening around. So you can see inside here where I'm picking the eggs from, I'm putting them on the trays. You can see that it's a little bit dirty, but these are cleaned every day. Every day inside here is clean. But the birds get in, you know, you can see a few birds that are laying the eggs. When the eggs lay, are laid, they roll down like here. And you can see that there is a nice slant here that when the eggs roll, you see, they don't break. It will just go up and come back down and then they are safe, they won't hit against anything hard and they won't break. But because inside the chicken house over there we have litter, when the birds step in here, this becomes dirty. So consistently they have to be cleaned. So I'll just start picking out the eggs, you know. Quite a number of eggs that we are collecting. Okay. And then you'll notice when I'm placing them down on the trays, I don't just put them down, you know. There is a more pointed side of the egg. This side is more pointed than the top. So the pointed side points down. That way the egg yolk remains up and there is air at the top. You can see. Okay. So you don't just place them down randomly. It's very important which direction they face when you're placing them down. And you know, with time you get to do it quickly. You can even just feel it in your hand which side is the more pointed side. But it's very important that when you're placing them down, you place them down properly. That way, um, you have the eggs conserved. And since these are hatching eggs, they're going to go to incubators, you want the air sac to remain intact. Because the air sac is right at the top. And yes, as you can see, the eggs, like I've said, are a bit, well, dirty. They're not really dirty, but they have the litter from the inside of the house. And after they have been picked from here, when they go inside the poultry unit, where we process them from, they actually just clean them off. All it needs is rubbing, you know, you don't need to wash them because they're going to be incubated. If you wash them, then you're going to have problems with hatchability. So, you don't need to wash them. All you need to do is rub off the dirt. Okay, so as you can see, we've collected quite some eggs, yeah? Now, the entire line actually has eggs. If I move away, you'll notice that I have a colleague in the background who is also collecting eggs. Can he be seen? Yeah, right there. It's quite too bright, but you can see him right in the background. He's collecting eggs, and even that side, we've actually managed to collect some eggs. You see, that entire lane. So, quite a number of eggs, and of course I don't do this every day. Uh, it's just occasional that I step in to collect the eggs because there is other things that I do need to do uh, around on the farm and off the farm. But this entire place is going to be collected, and most of the eggs are collected in the morning, by the way. This side has way more eggs than the other side and it's because chickens naturally prefer particular areas to lay eggs. I'll show you. Come take a look. Way more eggs than we were collecting the other side. I'll pick out these ones too. So last night we had a really heavy downpour and because of that the water dripped onto the top of the laying boxes as you might see and some of them got a little bit wet inside. So. But that's not a problem, really. So we're doing some cleaning to ensure that that water is dried out. And then, of course, the dust and the dirt 
from the laying boxes cleaned out. So that's part of the work going on right now. And right here with me, I have a really young chap who has decided to spend his time with us. You know, he's, he's quite young. I'll show him to you in a while. So here he is, and um, this is a really young chap. You can see he's helping us collect the eggs. Um, excuse me? Yeah, what's your name? My name is Warum Ethan. Warum Ethan. Oh, this is Ethan. Ethan, how old are you? I'm 12 years. 12 years old, and you can see Ethan is doing some work over here. Do you like what you're doing? Yes. You're in a holiday, right? Yes. So you just say to come and spend some time over here. Yes. That's really beautiful. You can see the smile on Ethan's face and I can tell that Ethan is going to be a really rich guy, you know. Because he's hard working and he's come to just do this in his free time and not sit and watch TV. Come on Ethan, you're doing really well. Well done. Keep on with what you're doing. I mean right here you can see that our compound has been bushy, very bushy. So we've got a few colleagues actually going on with the work of slashing it yeah it's been really bushy because it's been raining recently lots of rain so the grass grows very quickly that's part of the maintenance so this has been slashed that's why you've been seeing grass <laughs> moving on to the side but this will be cleaned out really quickly as soon as they get done with this they're going to be cleaning it out you can see the guy who has been cleaning the boxes over the other side he cleans them you know right at the top so that shouldn't be an issue actually let's move on to it and i'll show you part of our daily chores on the farm so this is um a colleague he's called Fazali and you can see how we clean the laying boxes you know just dusting them making sure that we remove the dust and this is part of the daily work that happens around on the farm yeah so that side has been cleaned it's just the grass at the bottom but even all that will go off it's beautiful what happens around on the farm isn't it You can see that this area is certainly more bushy than the area that's being slashed, you know? Lots of bush growing around and it doesn't take long during the rainy season before bush grows. So really you can't blame anyone but consistently like you've seen it has to be slashed so that you don't have snakes growing in here, rats and everything. This just takes one to two weeks and it's already back to this level once you have quite an amount of rain happening like we are experiencing right now. We'll briefly move into our poultry unit, you know, uh, disinfect my gambles, open the door and let's get in. Okay, so this is the older flock that we have. This flock has been here since may last year we've had it on the farm and you can see them they're actually starting to look quite old you know if you look at the females you see that females back it's because of the mounting from the cocks these are the cocks these are the males yeah so they will mount her and when they mount her because of the consistent mounting the bats you know it looks like some birds are mounted more than others you can see that that and this is a bit clearer that's a bit worse this is also a bit worse. That's because of the constant stepping from the cocks in order to mount the birds and fertilize the eggs. So that's what the farm looks like right now. It's quite loud inside here, as you can tell. But it's clean and nice. You know, you can see our drinkers. They are cleaned consistently. Yeah. So they look like they have some speckles, but that's not a big issue. They are cleaned consistently. This that you see on top is actually just dust because as the birds are scratching dust raises but that's um, understandable and that usually clears out as you clean the feeders and the drinkers every day the birds are well broadcasted well spaced out and then i've seen a random egg at the floor i'll pick it up sometimes the birds are lazy to move to the side where the laying boxes are so they will put an egg right on the floor but these days the number of flow eggs had reduced as you can see there's not many of them i've seen another one over there so i can go pick it up pick up a flow egg right here and then i can put them inside the laying boxes they roll down nicely so this flock like i said is quite grown up and uh, it's not going to be too far away that we shall be offlaying them they are more than a year so well they can lay up to maybe 70 something weeks Maybe 80 weeks max, but I don't think we shall get to 80 weeks. Maybe 72 weeks. There are more than 52 weeks. They've actually spent quite some time here and their production is now dropping. But that's expected, yeah? Slowly by slowly the production drops 
but this is our parent stock from which we get our quality day oil chicks. I've actually experienced farmers who have told me their buds have laid up to 96%. That's crazy! 96% laying. Oh my god. You guys have been really good buds. They have been raised well and they are giving us exactly what we expect of them. And you can see that inside the feeders we have feed and the females are actually eating the food. Not just the females but all the birds are enjoying their food. You know right there, if I pointed to the next feeder over there, you can see the birds eating their food. Beautiful, very beautiful. Of course, their coats, considering the birds are getting older, their coats are not as nice as they used to be when the birds were younger. But that's very understandable. And of course, we do have another flock right at the very top. That flock is younger. If I went inside there, you would notice that their feathers look way nicer. I should probably go check out the ones right at the end. Over there, we have just a younger flock uh, right at the end, you know, the other side of the orange dividing. Let's go check them out. We're going over to the younger birds. They are younger, but not by so much, maybe by six months. In exact age, they are more than eight months, maybe nine months old. So they have got all the vaccinations, nothing. They don't need anything. But if it was a younger flock, if the birds hadn't gotten their entire vaccination, I wouldn't move from an older flock to a younger flock. That would be a mistake. You know, you risk moving disease from the older flock that has developed immunity to a younger flock. But these ones, no. These ones have been mature. They have been here for quite some time. They have got all their vaccines. Uh, they are quite strong. So I'm not worried about transmitting disease from the other side to this side. But ideally, um, this would be the correct movement, starting with the younger birds and going over to the older birds. It's not an issue right now. Like I say, they have got all their vaccination. Beautiful. And uh, you can see, now we are in the lower house and if i move closer to the birds you would notice that their plumage looks way nicer you know it doesn't look as uh rusty this is one of the males yeah and you can see him mounting right in front of me no shame no shame ah anyway it's okay it's nature so there's no shame like i said um and these are the females the white ones and the males and you can see that their backs haven't been marked as much you can barely notice that they, they are being mounted you know and it's because they are quite still young of course as they get older and you know they get to the older ages then that also starts manifesting a bit more for them but for now it's not a big issue and in here i've seen maybe two or three flow eggs should pick them up one two yeah pick them up of course these ones are laying quite a lot this exact flock actually at one point hit 97 percent production oh my god that's crazy this is isa brown and these are just parents you can imagine what the commercials would do i'm sure they wouldn't have a problem hitting 97 percent production but yes 97 percent production that's unheard of that's not something i'd ever seen the first flock that i've seen that has hit 97 percent production that is really awesome. So they are doing really, really, really good. They are young. Their production is perfect. Uh, they are well spaced, as you might see inside the house. What can I say? It's just beautiful inside here. So yes, that's been a brief tour and catch up of what's happening right here on the farm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash the notification bell. That way you never miss out on any of the farm up uploads. Oh my God, lots of excitement, yeah? Love you guys lots. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye.